to build a boat large and glorious enough would take about a week. A week. Um, a week for what? Uh, I wonder how long it would take Sekul Khan to do it. But, but for the gods. Okay, after they I negotiate with their ruling leader, they're still My stuck Lord. here. They're spending a third of the movie stuck in this Incan Empire, or Aztec Empire, whatever the hell this fucking tribe is, when they're nowhere close to getting the gold. I wonder why this movie took a flop. Uh, clearly this is the bad guy amongst the Empire. Are you kidding me? Snakes and spiders? You, you, all you can come up with is disgusting. They're scary. He's supposed to scare the hell out of you, not disgust the hell out of you. Are you without a brain? Maybe you should go to the Land of Oz instead of the Road to El Dorado so he can get a fucking brain! Now what are they doing? What the hell is this? It's not getting anywhere near the road to El Dorado. Keep this in mind. This is my first time seeing this movie. When the hell are they getting to the road to El Dorado? They did not look like they're anywhere close to it. They're getting their asses here by some stupid ball game that only they came up with. How is this getting them to the road to El Dorado? We have 30 minutes left in this short film, and they're nowhere close to getting to El Dorado. Gods are speaking for themselves now. This city and these people have no need for you anymore. Ah, channeling his inner Kenneth Branagh. I am Hamlet, and I will take down the king. Or Prince. And make these people livelihood again so they don't be ruled by swamps like you. This means war. Ooh. I have been around boats, believe me. And that, um, the pointy, tall, um, the, 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 the long up and up and down. Thing. You've uh, been on boats, and you can't describe what parts of the boats are. You need a fucking brain, too. Oh, we're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz to get ourselves a brain because we're fucking stupid and don't know what a boat is. What the fuck is wrong with you people? You're in the 15 fucking hundreds. Boats are the way of transportation in this era and you don't know what part of a boat is? God, what makes you think you're going to get to El Dorado? Oh, we're going to seal this flaggy thing this way because the wind's blowing it this way. I don't know what it is, but we're going to blow it this way and make our way to El Dorado. You don't even know how to use a compass, I bet. Which way is north? Oh, no, I have a fucking brain. I don't even know what part of a boat is. Oh, no, I can't. I have to go back with Tulia. We're... And have you fucking noticed they are nowhere near El Dorado? Or maybe they are and I'm just not aware of it. Weren't they supposed to get like gold or something? Oh boy. Talk about your bling bling. Meanwhile, these two are hanging on by a snake. Oh boy. This is not ending well, I would imagine. Yay! They fucking made it! They are okay! Everything's right with the world! It's just a nowhere near the fucking gold! Are we gonna get gold or what? Long live our hero! Our stupid hero! Oh, now what's he doing? Oh, for the love of God. What does he think he is? The Emperor? You know what I'm starting to conclude? They really did rip off a Disney movie. The Emperor's New Groove. 
They have changed their ways. They're not obsessed about greediness and golden fame. They're obsessed with the people of the of the tribe. They're kind and caring to the people. This is so ripping off of the Emperor's New Groove. Dreamers has done it again. The Disney wannabes. Battle? What battle? Oh, for the love of Pete. When are we going to get the goddamn gold? Stop. It's the jackpot! So, this horse is assumably the Pegasus of DreamWorks. They're floating away in their goat. Oh my god, he's Superman. Look, it's a bird. No, it's a plane. No, it's some guy getting the sale. Oh, for Pete's sakes. So they get their gold and they run away. So much, so much for caring for the people. So now they're gonna use this wave to get the hell out of here. Except they gotta beat it out so they don't get trampled on, which they barely do. And oh, by the way, they brought their love and joy with them. Yippee! Are you? Of course there's no El Dorado. They're in a waterfall. This looks more like Niagara Falls than El Dorado. Oh, great. Wait. No, wait. Wait. Oh, you're going to get executed. Because that's how bad guys end their lives. Great. All they can do is crack a fucking smile. What a shock. And that's how the movie ends. He runs away. Great. So that was the road to El Dorado. What a waste of my fucking time. They don't get to the gold until right towards the end. And they pretty much spend half the movie in this village trying to become one of them instead of going after the gold. So if you're looking for an adventure movie, I suggest Treasure Planet or Atlantis The Lost City or whatever the hell that movie did. Yeah, Atlantis The Lost Empire. I recommend that movie. That's got more adventure than this. This is just a waste of fucking time. With a lot of plot holes. And oh, by the way, more ripping off of Disney. You can see why it barely finished under what it was cost to fit to begin with. So with that, I officially end this tour. Everybody get off the fucking bus. It's time to move on to something else. I'm the Commander Xander. I remember it's of the Sam's a great gun now doing. Neither did you.